Yo, what's really good, YouTube? Wow, wow, wow. I I'm not even going to edit that out. I want y'all to know that was the ESPN going off about the Thunders beating the Clippers just now when they fouled Russell Westbrook at the three-point line and sent them and let him make them three foul shots. That was hilarious. Luckily, my Wizards won. But anyway, yo, what's really good, YouTube? It's your boy Boswell back at it again. This time we got some of that Clan V Clan cheese. Man, this new update is lovely, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I found out is the spawns are broken as hell. I'm gonna make another video on that though. But anyway, let's get into it. And I think I done found a better SMG. This vector has to be the king of the SMGs right here, man. It, it, it's crazy. You know they patched the MTAR. They just, the new... Uh, patch that just came out today. They patched the, they buffed the, not buffed, nerfed the Bison once again. So now that gun goes back to being ass. Now it's, it's basically like the M, the the Vector is the best SMG. So it's a new king of the SMGs in a block. And uh, this is an actual special video. Not so special as far as the topic, but you know, the gameplay. And you know, the new patch for the Kai Esports Clan B Clan. Now you play two sides of Dom, like an actual. Uh, competitive Call, Call of Duty Ghost match, which is fun. The best part about it, what I love about it, is that you know, you you don't stop playing. You know, it's no break. You don't have to wake them. You don't you don't have. It's no break in between the matches. You just keep playing. So save your teams up. You know, you got you going into the second round of Clan v Clan on a on, you know just high or high off momentum. You know, so whoever wins that first match is definitely gonna you know uh, go in their favor after the game's over. But anyway, man. Let's get into it. We went to my freight. One of my favorite maps. And you know, Clan V Clan, I dropped a 40 bomb. This is this is a 40 bomb. I went 43 or 42 and 15. Something like that. You guys want to see. So it was just straight annihilation going on this Clan V Clan match. We definitely was doing doing big things, man. Digital. Um anyway, this is probably not gonna be the last 40 or 50 bomb. I'm going for Kim Strikes. I'm going for everything in this Clan V Clan now. For the simple fact is they they don't stop the game. You know, you now you legitly have 10 minutes. To, to play, you know, you have 10 minutes to just annihilate and claim be clan. They had to do something. I mean, I wouldn't think this is a hot fix or a good fix because one thing I did notice is the the, the spawns are broken. But I'm going to show you in the next video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be the next video. Actually, this is what I do because I have over 1300 subscribers, 1300 subscribers. I really need to find out how many of you guys are actually like watching the videos. I want to, I want to start a new system. Where I will upload the next video um, after this video gets 20 likes. So once this video gets 20 likes, I upload the next video. So depending on how, how fast you guys, I, I guess every video I'm, I'm starting to average about you know 70 views a video. So if we can get 20 likes, if you guys enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button, guys. Show me some love. It also helps me grow. So hit that like button. We get 20 likes, I upload the video right after we get those likes. I promise you guys on that. But anyway, back into this Clan v Clan cheese. Every it's it's lovely, you know. Like I said, I'm gonna be going for chem strikes. I'm gonna be going for 50 bombs. I now I'm gonna set records for myself because Clan v Clan has gotten a little boring. I went to you know pub matches to try to spark up that fun back in Call of Duty Ghosts. But this this brings you something to go for. This brings you some challenges. You know, you you can play with friends, challenge your friends. Oh, I bet you won't get 50 this match or 40 this match. You know, You're probably gonna go for chem strikes, like I said. So let me know. Um, if it's anything special or a challenge you guys would like Bosle to go for, I definitely try to get some of that clan B, clan cheese for y'all, man. But anyway, this MTAR is nasty. It's the new king of the SMG. Something about it. I remember I made a video before where I was like, it wasn't my favorite gun. It kind of jumped a little bit and I wasn't a fan of it. But now, like, it forces you, the, with all the patches and the nerfs and the buffs of the guns, the game forces you to play with the Vector, especially when you're playing at a competitive level like I am. You, you have to stay in the loop. You have to be able to, you know, you know, win those gunfights. And unfortunately, with the, the nerfing of all the other SMGs, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a skill level, not a skill level, but you, you kind of are at the disadvantage if you're not using the strongest weapon. You know, that's why I didn't like about, you know... Um, not the the variety of weapons they that that's used in competitive car. Like I made that video about you know it was only a couple of guns that are good. 
you know so that that just goes back you know to things i'm talking about you know and they just keep proving me right this is what they're doing like you know you got this group of players that complain about something and they go back in and completely destroy the gun it's just not good for anybody so now if you're not using like the vector you're kind of at a disadvantage when it comes to like you know those gunfights you know now the vector is the strongest gun and the best part about it is a lot of people use the vector with the red dot sight you know and i use smgs say i use the bison or i, I didn't really use it well, i did the, i didn't really use a bison in competitive i use it in pub matches mostly but anyway um say you're using the mtar usually a typical mtar class setup is you know you got the vertical grip you have muzzle brake and you use agility ready up um basically what i'm saying is yeah ready up uh agility dead silence and focus and, and steady aim you know steady aim is good for weapons without red dot sight and now you have you're able to use a red dot sight on this smg which i use in a vector i put marathon on so now i'm able to run back and forth across the map in no time at all check the triple kill right there though your boy got nasty double kill with the nade then i picked up the last kill with the vector triple kill tri tri triple kill <laughs> but yeah anyway man like i said the red dot sight gives you, you know, just more mobility because you can run now, you know. And, it, of course, that class setup is great for blitz and things like that. It's even good for domination, believe it or not, even though you're capturing flags. Say if a guy, uh, the two of their guys rotate back to your home flag, you have to run all the way back to your home flag from B. And without, you can get there before they take it or, or neutralize the flag if you have Marathon on. So that, that opens up a lot more classes for you, you know, just little changes like that. But um, anyway, like I said, the Vector is the king of the SMGs, and I know if fans are that about it. It's just so powerful. Now, my class setup, if you guys want to try it out on a Vector, is the uh, Red Dot Sight and the Grip. I know some people use the Red Dot Sight, and they use the um the Muzzle Break. But I, I feel better with the Grip because without the Grip, the gun team, it, it seems to move up and down more for me. And if I'm in, like... Uh, long it really puts me at the disadvantage when I'm shooting from long range my long range shot is horrible with SMGs sometimes my shot is on the money I don't know what it is sometimes I just pick off everything but sometimes most of the times my shot is not that good so um anyway like I said I need the grip you need I need grip for my, my personal you know use but everybody to each his own you know you may not need you may not need it some people like I said when I do when I use other weapons and I'm trying to put back for the 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 um like the jumping of the gun when it goes to the left or the right i, I kind of move my gun to the other side to put back for that recoil of that weapon and with the grip i'm just not that good at that so that i mean with the vector i'm not that good at doing that so that's why i just use grip and just avoid all that and all but anyway guys make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already if you are enjoying the video like i said 20 likes the next video will come back out and look at your boy just getting nasty in the spawn looking like an all-out slayer the 40 the 40 man listen the 40 bomb and 4v4 competitive this is with, with the new update they allowed you to get these kills you know you, it's never it, it's, it's probably never ending kills that you're going to get now. You're probably going to get a lot more. 40 is just the beginning. This is the first day of the patch coming out like this where you can just constantly play the game. You can play a, a full 10-minute dom just like that. It's like the blitz, actually. You switch rounds and blitz. You switch sides in domination now, you know. So it allows you to get that many kills and respawn. It's, it's, it brings back a little bit of fun because I'm telling you, man, Clan v. Clan is the worst. It is the worst. The kids you're playing with have no thumbs. And I actually seen a hilarious picture on Twitter, man, from Digital, and the kid had no thumbs, like, literally, and was playing a game. It was the funniest thing ever, guys. But people in Clan v. Clan tend not to know what they're, what they're doing, you know, and you have guys on your teammate. Like, earlier, I had, like, in this game, I think I had, like, 40 kills. Digital had, like, 30-something kills, and the other two people on our team, they didn't have, they didn't have maybe, I think they had 10 or something like that, you know, so it's that much of a difference. And I actually, we actually won this game by one point, which is crazy, because we and we only had three people in the team because the guy had left because I think he was getting just demolished, so he left, and we end up winning this game three v four by ourselves, which is totally dope. You know, it just shows you we we, we about that grind life, we are about that serious COD life, man. But COD is definitely COD Ghost is. I think I'm getting burnt out of COD Ghost now. I know I said I wasn't, but I really am getting burnt out of COD Ghost, and I, I I don't know what it is. They need to do something. I just, I just want a, a, a league play like Black Ops 2. That's all I want. Give us something 
if they can update Clan v Clan with the ranking system, like a real ranking system, it can. I wonder how hard it is. It, it got to be hard. I'm in software development, so I can only imagine it could be hard to add that element to the game, you know. So let's not ask for that now, but hopefully Advanced Warfare gets it right. But that's the end of the gameplay. Your boy went 42 and 16, went totally ham. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the 20, hit that like button. We get 20 likes. We have the next video coming right out at the uh, for y'all guys. So definitely hit the like button. It's your boy Boz. That's the end of the gameplay. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my previous video, The Road to Pro. It's your boy Boswell, and I'm gone. Peace. 150 to 152. That's nasty. 3v4. Let's go.